Welcome back friends this is Ram here and it's 49 tutorial on Java FX 8. In this tutorial we are going to see how to save an image into a database. So first of all I will create a field in the database so open your database SQLite that is SQLite manager and in that go to the structure and create a one more field for the image so I am going to create the field with the name image and set the data type as a blob and not null not default and add this column to the database so this is the new column in the database with the name image we have added so this is the new column now we are going to add the image in the database so let's start so this is 49 tutorial on image and database so in the last tutorial we have seen how to choose a file and display on the image view so we have choose a, chosen a file using file chooser and displayed it on a image view so in this tutorial we are going to save that Im selected image into our database so to do that I am going to create one more object with a name say file input stream fis and fix the import for file input stream add java io file input stream now we are going to save the selected image using a browse button and to do that come to the save button action and in that save button action in the string query add the created field that is image and add one more question mark in the values so now we are going to pass the image to the database so here we are going to add that image into the input stream so file fis equals to new file input stream In that we are going to pass the file which is the file selected from the file chooser so this is the file which we are going to choose using file chooser and this file we are going to send to the file input stream So next we are going to save this file or image into the database so pst dot set binary stream say it's a eleventh index file input stream is the stream give the type of firefs as a input stream and fix the import for import stream and I'm going to add the length of the file so 
integer and file dot length save this so first of all we have created a file input stream object using that we have selected the file chosen by the file chooser now next we have set that file input stream to the database using set binary stream with the length of the file now similarly add this two lines in the update button such that we can save as well as update the user details that is we can add the image into the database of the user so we have done with the now run this to so load the table now i am going to create one user or update any user with his image so this is user which i have selected now i am going to choose the image for the user so, i am going to select the my image and open so this is me and the path in the text field now we are going to add this image into the database so it will going to save for the selected user that is the ram we have selected for the user now we are going to add this image into the database so we have already selected an user now we are going to update this user with the image now update there is an error because of we have we need to add the image field into the update button so come to the update button action and after the hub is i'm going to add the image with the question mark so that's why it's going it's going to give an array index out of bound exception this is the exception generated by the compiler because we need to add the image into a update button action string qd so save this and close this and run once again So load table. So I'm going to choose the image again. So this is the selected image. Now we are going to update the user. So update. Now we can say thus: user details has been updated. Message generated by the. So. now in the database we are going to check whether the image is saved or not so here we can observe that the the image with size the image type blob and the image size is 82057 similarly we can save the user details like update button action so this is the java fix a tutorial 49 on image and database that is how to save an image into a database so if you have any question or query about this tutorial ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on my email id that is alapuriram@gmail.com
and finally if you found this video very helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video see you in the next tutorial